Hi folks. Uh, now, if you've been following me uh, recently on social media or reading this blog, you'll probably notice that I've had a, a little bit of an obsession uh, with putting out um, uh, free scripts uh, that utilize uh, GPT-3, which is a machine learning uh, artificial intelligence uh, language model. Um, and I think the thing has kind of got to the point now where I've released so many of these things, I'm starting to drive people crazy with them. Um, but one of the things I've really enjoyed in uh, putting these out there is seeing how people have uh, taken these scripts and these sheets and have adapted them and um, applied different use cases to them. So I thought rather than just putting another one out, um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a series of short videos um, that show you how you can do this yourself because it really is not a difficult process. Um, I really cannot take credit for doing anything really more than just coming up with the idea of the different scripts to generate because you really do not need uh, any coding experience uh, to put these scripts together. Um, and I, I just want to show you uh, what a simple process this is um, by taking you through uh, the entire flow of uh, creating this sheet, which is a new one that I've created today, which really took no time at all. Um, so I'm just going to show you what this script does, what this sheet does, um, and then I'm going to do uh, some follow on videos and then take you through the process of how you can create this one, but not just this one, also create uh, any uh, a Google script that you want that utilizes GPT-3 or any other uh, machine learning API. Uh, you can adapt this for all kinds of different uses. Um, so let me first of all just show you what this one does. So this is a new script that I've created uh, which I've called GPT-3 Formula Generator. So if you're a user of Google Sheets um, you probably frequently use formulas in your cells. Um, so when you need to uh, come up with um, a value in a cell that is derived from the values of other cells, um, then you create a formula. So normally what you do is start it with an equal sign uh, that shows that it's a formula uh, and, and then you put in uh, whatever function it is that gets the result that you're looking for. Um, so, you know, a really simple formula, for example, is let's say, for example, you wanted to uh, just add up. Let's imagine that there were two numbers in this uh, sheet here. Let, let me go here. I'm going to put four and five in those rows there. And then let's imagine I want the total of those two here. So we could then create a formula to go equals. Uh, so that is cell A9, A9 plus uh a 10. So press return and that's what you get is the total there. Now that's a really simple formula which you probably don't need too much help uh, to figure out how to make that work. Um, but there are uh, many very complex formulas that you can create that do all kinds of analysis on your data uh, that can chop up strings and do all kinds of things with those um, split out text do financial forecasts and statistical analysis um, and that's where it really starts to get quite complicated uh, especially when you need to create those formulas to apply to a range of values rather than individual values in that simple example uh, I just did there so that's essentially what this script does um, is it uh, generates the formulas for you based on uh, a plain English description. So you just describe the formula you need, you describe what you want it to do, um, and then it uh, tells you what formula will do that. So um, what we've got here in this sheet is just basically two col columns. Uh, column A is the plain English description, column B is the result, is the formula. Um, so all you do is just describe in uh, a cell here. So I'm going to say add the values of A2 and B2. And you really don't need to be very precise there. Um, you don't need to worry about uh, how you're phrasing that too much as long as it's clearly understandable to say another person what it is you're trying to achieve. Um, that's good enough for GPT-3. So add the values of A2 and B2. And then here, we're gonna use a, f a formula to create a formula. Hang on, just uh, 
move that around there and then I'm gonna uh, click into B2 here and then I'm just gonna put in here equals get formula so it's a slightly meta situation here where we're using a formula to create a formula um, but that's the name of uh, the the formula that I've created in my script is called get formula um, and then we just open the brackets and then you just refer to the cell that contains the description that you, we just created, which was uh, A2. So put A2, close the brackets, and then press return. And then you'll see after a short delay, it's come up with um, exactly the same formula that we had before equals A2 plus B2. Now, obviously, we don't really need a script to do something as simple as that. Um, so where this really uh, comes into use is where you start to need to do uh, something more complicated. So rather than you sit there and watch me uh, type this out, um, I've just, uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this into the cell here. So here's my description, uh, add the value of all rows in column A. Uh, now that's something some people may be unsure. How do you uh, add the values of all those rows together? Um, so what I can do now is just copy and paste uh, the formula, get formula A2, I can just copy that and paste, don't have to type it out again, just press that in there. And you can see now we've got this formula here, um, equals sum bracket A colon A, and that essentially just adds up the whole of column A. Um, so, you know, that's something that someone may not have known how to do. Let's get a little bit more complex. So I'm now going to put this one here, count the number of rows in cells A2 to B20 with a value greater than 20. See now that's where you start to get a little bit trickier that some people might struggle to know which formula to use for that. We just copy and paste it into there and there we go. That's the formula that does that job. Um, let's do another one. I'm going to go here, split the text in cell A2 where the slash symbol appears into two columns. So this um, this is very useful if you've got uh, URLs uh, in a cell and you want to kind of break them out into paths, um, so into separate cells for each path. Um, so we just kind of do that and then copy the formula down here. There we go, split A2. That's given us the function there. Then we can start doing things that are quite a bit more complex. Uh, so let's put a, a description here. Um, forecast the cells for five years ahead using the dates in cells A2 to 18 and the cells values in cells B2 to B18. Okay, so now we're getting a lot more complex here. So this is all about forecasting. And there we go. It's created a forecasting formula. And then just one last example here. I'm going to put this in here. Return found if the string product is found in any row of column A or not found if product is not found in any row of column A. Um, copy and paste my formula there. And there you go. Um, and pretty much uh, any uh, description you provide, um, it will come up with its best attempt at uh, giving you a formula that you can then go and use uh, in your sheets. So um, that is likely to be for some people uh, a pretty handy script. So what I really want to do, I mean, I'm going to make this script available um, so you can download this and just use this just like all the other scripts that I've created. Um, but I also want to just show you the process from start to finish of how I created that script and how you can do the same and uh, create scripts for many other purposes. So I'll see you in the next video.